Alright guys, um, welcome back to some Yakuza 4. Today we're going to be starting part 3 of uh, Kiru's story. And yeah, we'll see how far we can get. But, um, yeah, this is uh, chapter 3. Soga. Meanwhile, the Tojo clan chairman's office. あとは例のファイルが今どこにあるか。それを探し出せ。あ、頼んだぞ。それじゃ。but this makes sense now. Okay, yeah, this makes a lot of sense now. So, what do you want to do with the other people? That's it. <笑>数日前の上の聖和会との構想それに五年前の百億事件すべてがあなた方によって仕組まれていたことだったとは未だに信じられませんだがそれが真実ですもう迷ってる時間はありませんよ<笑> 6代目 私はね、どうしますか。極道組織というのは社会の必要悪だと思っているんですよ。敗戦後、日本という国の復興を陰で支えてきたのは警察と極道です。それは間違いありません。警察は目に見える犯罪から一般人を守り秩序を築いたそして極道は目に見えない外敵を水際で叩きこの国を独立国家として成り立たせただからね私は警察だけが正義だなどと言うつもりはありません警察と極道は今の今まで常に表裏一
25年ぶりの再会だな、佐江島。カツラギ。年は取ったが、その目は変わらないな。なんでお前がここにおるんや話すのも面倒なくらいいろいろあってねまあんたもいろいろ真島さんから聞かされただろうお前の目的は何なんや俺のこと拉致して何になるんやまあ心配するなすぐにあんたを殺そうってわけじゃないあんたにはまだ生きていてもらうよどうせ殺すんやったら、はいはやれよ。この世にまどろっこしいことして、時間使うぐらいやったら、いっそ死んだ方がマシや。ほほ、ずいぶんと潔いな。覚悟はできていると。当たり前じゃボケが。俺は死刑囚や。25年前のあの日、18人も殺した時から、覚悟はできとる<笑> 18人殺したね何がおかしいんじゃあんたは何にも知らなかったのかあの25年前の事件お前は誰一人殺してない何言うとるんや俺なんだよ18人殺したのはお前は誰一人殺すことすらできなかったただの間抜けだどういうことやどういうことなんやカツラギ説明せえまあそのことは後でゆっくり教えてやるよ時間はたっぷりあるからな何する気や俺としたことがちょっと計画が狂ってしまってね最初は警察とつるんでこの上に立ってるビルをいただくつもりだったんだが予定を変更せざるを得なくなったんだよ洗いって男のせいでね洗いやと洗いてあの木戸の兄貴分どういうことやまあ事情はゆっくり話すとしてあんたとあんたの妹さんにはまた協力してもらうよ。妹やと。お前、安子をどうするつもりや。ほんと。まだそんな元気があるのか。安心しろ。あんたたちは今の俺たちの生命線だ。殺しはしないさ。あんたたちと例のファイル。それに、あり余るほどの軍資金さえ手に入れれば。胸肩など用なしだ。どうだ。金の方は準備できたのか。ええ。スカイファイナンスの隠し金庫にあった現金一千億。無事。強奪に成功しました。お,お前は。お久しぶりです、西島さん Jima Sun said Yasuko Sun's in danger. I have a bad feeling about this. Better get back to me soon and make sure she's okay. Oh, look how good this looks. In the rain. All the neon lights. This game's fucking sick, dude. Definitely better than Yakuza 3. Again, Yakuza 3 is not a bad game. I'm not shitting on it. Yakuza 3 is pretty good. That's、uh, just some guy we're fighting. But、uh, again, like I said, Yakuza 
It is a good game. I don't agree with all the hate, though. Oh, we have we have ability points, I think, from last episode. Cool, ten yen, ten thousand yen. I don't know how I feel though about the uh, whole multiple character thing. I, I mean, it's cool because there's different play styles, different things for each character to experience and stuff. And in five, I think each character gets their own city. Um, but. I still don't know how I feel because I like Kiru, so I don't know how I feel not seeing him except for a cutscene in chapter 2, you know what I mean? What the? Date-san. Date-san, Date-san. Good, it looks like he's coming too. Date-san, huh? Oh, Kiru, what happened? Are you okay? I think so. I guess I just blacked out or something. You sure you're okay? My head's so fuzzy as all heck, but yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> you remember what happened? Well, you and I had that chat outside, then I came back in the inn to keep Yasuko-san company while you were gone. Next thing I knew, I was walking, waking up on the floor to you screaming. You don't remember anything else? Wait, now that you mention it, Yasuko-san poured us a couple drinks when I stepped back in. Drinks? Do you think there's a chance she drugged you? Can't rule out the possibility. They're still on the counter if you want to have a sip for yourself. I think I'll pass. Anyway, do you have any idea where you... Yeah, Sukasun might have gone. Not a clue, sorry. Damn it. Look, I'm sorry, I was ready to throw down of some thugs barge and try to take her away, but I didn't think Yasukasun herself would be the one fighting me. It's not your fault, Daddy Sun. Guess I should probably get looking for her though. I'll be back. Wait, Kiru, I'm coming to you. No, I need you to stay here in case she comes back. It's probably the safest place in town at this point. Right, we'll go look out there. Thanks, I'll be there sh I'll be back soon. Sorry, hold on. Give me one second, guys. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. It's so funny. I have to go out the rear exit, but I come out the front. Or no, I do come out the back. No, I do come out the front. I'm taking the rear exit. Makes no sense. No way before I gotta go to Yasuka some fast. Yasuka san. Wait, is that. There she is, dog. There she is again. Where's she going? Damn it, looks like I lost her. There. Oh, with Akiyama and fucking Tanamura. Better go take a look. All our characters are finally meeting each other. Did Yasuko san really go in here? Only one way to find out. What? <laughs> I'm a good guy. Do you know how to get to the house? I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the house. I'm not
Yes, go on. Anta is taking it. Okay. So we're definitely fighting them. I was like, if she's there, we shouldn't fight because she knows who we are. Is that Kuroke Sido? She's not there. Sai no Kawara, the other Bashu is not there. Sai no Kawara. Anta mo Kamuro Chon is sunned on Nara. Kita got a cry of Ardaro. Ano homeless no Tamari Badata. Nishko in the Chicano Koda. どうしてそこへ。そうじゃ Catch you later, alligator. And she's gone. Oh, my God.上の聖和会のやつか。それとも胸型の使いのやつか。何を言ってるんだ。あの女をどこにやった。リリちゃんならとっくに行っちゃったよ。何？あおっと、ダメだよ。これ以上先には行かせないよ。安子さんには指一本
I was like, dude, I don't know if I have any heals. Dude, come on. I'm Kiwi, son. I'm gonna fail this because you have to hit this shit so fast. Oh, I think I have to get... Hold on, I think I have to... Oh, wait, no, okay. I'm retarded. I'm good. It wasn't too bad of a fight. We got nine fucking orbs from that. That was not even near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. As soon as I saw that we were gonna fight both of them, I was like, fuck, this might suck, but nah, it wasn't too bad. So, <laughs> Need to find Yashuka Sun fast. Someone around here must have seen her. We'll do that in a second. Golden Dragon Spirit? Oh. So, I mean, I guess it really is just this one star shit, though. I don't need the drunken one. You can do the essence of knockdown, essence of self destruction, rolling, pole dancing, and hurling. Then it's just the essence of jumping, and then a couple like other miscellaneous abilities. We're gonna have to hit up the drugstore. Whoa, Kirsan, never thought I'd run into you down here. Didn't even realize you were back in town. Do I know you? Heh, <laughs> much as you know any old homeless guy, I guess. I know you though. Owe you a lot, in fact. You helped me out and out. Uh, you helped me out down in Purgatory before the Hills Project kicked off. Then there was the whole snafu with the Dragon Palace. Oh well. All right then. By the way, you're gonna need one of these puppies if you ever want to keep going. The do there. This doohickey here opened any old manhole you come across. The sub guy came through earlier, pried the freaking thing open with his bare hands. Hardly, hard, hardly, hardly believed my eyes. Reading's fucking hard sometimes, dude. Purgatory's over here popping, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm going the fucking wrong way. What an idiot. What a... Oh, I got a key from it, though. That's cool. What a dumbass, though. I literally looked down, saw where the pink arrow was, and just went the opposite direction. I have no idea why. Must have fucking brain damage. So wait, they're all chilling like Katsuragi's in here, just everyone laid the fuck out. Is Saijima still here? Yasuko-san 
うなってんだよ Well, that's the end of that, though surprisingly. Shit's fucking. Kira's shit is so short. That was 25 minutes for that part. Hey, hey. Hey, It's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. That Kira has the shortest fucking sections in this entire fucking game. Absolutely atrocious. It's just sitting there. But もっと刑事が分野でクラブの手伝いしてじゃ悪いのかいやただこの数日間毎日が信じられないような出来事の連続でおっこいつさんどうだったんだお前さんの店の良さダメまんまとやられちゃってましたよ ああ、せっかくコツコツ貯めたからだったのにな。これじゃまた一からやり直しだっての。やっぱり金盗まれてたのか。ええ、綺麗さっぱり。いくらぐらいだ。一千億。はあ？一千億？本当なのか。うん。
社長またドア開けっぱなしなんだからああ木戸さんごめんなさいちょっと買い物に行っててあーすいません勝手にお邪魔してますうん、mm. really Can't think of any other way. Me and Hana chan are the only two people who knew about the vault. Kido chan's the only other possibility. What makes you say that? Well, it would certainly wrap things up all nice and neat. Everything would make sense. What what, what do you mean? Not long after Hana chan saw him at the office, Kido chan got hauled off by Hatsushiba clan boys who'd been working with the Shibata. With. With Shibata? What the fuck did that say? With the Shibata, huh? Just walked in and spirited, spirited him away. Simple, clean. What's so strange about that? Everything you understand. If you've seen what Kido Chan can do in a fight, go on. Well, it's only been once I've witnessed it myself. But the guy can mop the floor with anyone without even breaking a sweat. He's pretty coy about it, though. Prefers to keep all that under wraps. How come? It's better for the family that way. More, most likely, kind of more enterprises where Kido Chan and Arasan work is a tiny speck under the big Shibata umbrella. Now, your usual Yakuza outfit makes their living makes their living off those dramatic displays of strength, but not Kanemura. Why not? Didn't want to stand out, especially with the rat face, rat race always tearing this town apart. Guess that's just how he was. Makes sense, it's safer to lay low and just get on with your life than to start bashing heads in. Yep, Kanemaru couldn't even afford his dues to the Shibata. He came to me begging for a loan and everything. Expanding his turf and inviting a competition was probably the last thing on his mind. I'm sure he has. He was more than happy to keep his head down and let Kamurocho be Kamurocho. For sure, that's why Arasan and Kido-chan were so careful not to make any waves. But yeah, Kido-chan's a monster. You think he let himself get kidnapped on purpose then? You bet I do. By the time I got back to the office that day, he was already gone. The place was more of a mess than usual thanks to the struggle. It was convincing, honestly. But one thing stood out to me, which was what? The order my books were in. Your books? Yep, Kitochan tossed a bunch of them around, probably to make it look like the fight went down. Covers tracks, you know. But the ones that were still on the shelf weren't in the right spots for some reason. That's how I knew something was up. Hold on, your office isn't exactly what I'd call organized, not by a long shot. Are you seriously telling me you know where every single book is supposed to be on your shelf? Every single one? Well, long story short, my old pal Kido Chan pulled a fast one on me. What I really want to know is who keeps 100 billion cash just lying around in this day and age? Why not stash it in a bank? Don't trust them, besides, it's not like any of them pay decent interest anyway. How much physical money isn't exactly portable though? How did they get it all out? Ask the DA guys who raided my office yesterday there. The ones who did it. You think they were imposters? Big time. Katsuragi must have sent them over once Kido chan tipped them off. That would explain it. That also explains the truck we saw earlier, last episode. Life's a cool mistress sometimes. Sure, you get used to be to the cheating and the backstabbing and the lying in my line of work. But when it all smacks you in the face one after another, oof. You seem like you're taking it pretty well though. Most guys would go in total shock if they lost 100 grand, let alone 100 billion. I am in shock. This is me in shock. It's not the big. It's not that big of a deal, I know, but still, not you. Not that big of a deal. I'm. I'm just. I'll just make it all back again. But. <laughs> and hey, the week has had its highlights. Oh yeah, I met you for one, Kirusan. Is that really so special? You're my freaking hero, man. You saved my life. Did I? I think I'd remember that. Just listen, you know what, when the Millennium Tower blew up five years ago when all that cash ran down on the city? That day changed my life. I grabbed as much as I could, cleaned myself up, went from homeless bum to this in practically no time flat. If not for you, I'd still be out on the streets digging through trash just to keep myself alive. That's the money you built your business on, huh? Yep. Though now that I think about it, that 10 billion was probably the same cash my bank duped me into laundering for them before they had me take the fall. Then te the 10 billion Jing you diverted to the Tojo clan, so yeah, so it feels kind of personal somehow. So this stuff going down is linked to that 10 billion considering me there. Uh, uh. Tired of reading. I don't know about you guys, but this started to feel like a fate to me. 
almost like we were all destined to end up here fate hmm. you might be just you just might be right で、これからどうするんだ、お前ら。最初またやすこを取り戻すつもりなのか。ああ。それしかないだろうな。だがどうすればいいんだ。金はすでに葛城の元にある。やはり奴らの居場所を探して直接攻め込むしかないのか。い
どうすればいいんだそうだな分かったこうしよう今日の取引お前一人で来い一人そうだ一人だしかもお前にはボロボロの状態で取引に来てもらうどういうことだ<笑>ちょっとした余興をやってもらうってことだよあんたの好きな殴り合いってやつをね何取引の場所はカムロ町ヒルズの屋上にしよう俺は佐江島と妹さらに一千億を用意してその屋上で待つあんたには屋上にたどり着くまで上野清和会の人間を全て倒してから来てもらうなんだと<笑>あんたが屋上にたどり着けるかそれとも先に死んでしまうか俺としてはどっちでもいいこれなら俺に有利な条件だもし俺が屋上までたどり着いたら<笑>そん時はちゃんと取引させてもらうよただたとえそうなってもあんたにはもう俺を殺す余力は残ってないはずだそれなら俺も安心だ分かってくれよ桐生さん俺もさ長生きしたいんだよあんたや佐江島みたいな化け物二人も相手してじゃ命がいくらあっても足りない世の中には錦山や郷田隆二みたいな今まであんたが相手にしてきた男気あふれる極道じゃない人間もいるんだよさあどうする分かった行こう何時に行けばいい夜22時だ<笑>俺も死体じゃない生きたあんたに会えることを楽しみに待ってるよそれじゃこっちのキルさんは you came to... Like you came to some kind of agreement. Yeah, I'm meeting him with,、uh, with the file on, on the roof of Kamarotri Hills tonight at 10 alone. alone. But that's insane. You're not actually going through that baloney, are you? I have to. That's part of the deal. Sounds like I'll be fighting through the entire Uno Seba clan to get up there at two. Guy doesn't take any chances once he gets down to business, huh? You sure you still want to go? I'm sure. There's no other way. You say that, but let him go if he wants to go. Besides, I don't think anything we say is going to change his mind. Isn't that right, Kyu-san? Right. A deal's a deal. Well, I should probably get going. Be careful out there, Kyu. I will. <sighs> let's, um, let's head up the drugstore and then head over to Common Room. Kiru, you're on your way to Common Room Hills? Why am I not surprised that you know that? Haha, <laughs> it's all part of the job. Anyway, I know you already know this, but you can get to come around through the bathroom in the west part. Doubt you'll forget that anytime soon. Yeah, thanks, Floris. Yeah, I'm not fucking stupid. We've been going through that bathroom this entire time to get there. But yeah, we'll head up to the drugstore.、Uh, I think as long as I book it straight across here, it's right here. I think. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Drugstore, just stock up on probably just a couple stamina X's. Did we do our abilities? Yeah. So, a couple of stamina X's. And then, yeah, just head to the Common Rocher Hills. And whatever we don't finish in this episode for this chapter, I'll just do a double upload. And then, we'll have the final chapter left. Do a Dead Souls remake. It'd be cool to have a Dead Souls remake. I think they could do it too. Do Stamina XX. Do 12 of them. Domo. 
head on out. Yeah, I, I hope that they at some point do a Dead Souls. I think the next one they'll do is uh, Kenzin or whatever. The other one that's like Ishin. It takes place back in the day like Ishin. I think they'll probably do that one next. And then then I think they might do Dead Souls and then the, the PSP exclusive one. Because they have um, that one, it's Fist something or some shit it's called. But it was Japanese only and it's also PSP only. So if I want to play on my stock PSP, I can't because there's no English translation without modding my PSP, which I don't want to do. I want to keep my PSP fucking... I want to get another PSP so I can mod it, but I want one that's legit. It's just like a preference thing, you know? So... I don't know. I hope that they remake that one. I hope... That's a, that's its own story, too. Both those games are like their own little... I think there's two of them. For the PSP, like, exclusive that's not Dead Souls. I think there's two of them, and they each have their own, like, little connected story together. But it's about some young kid, from what I know, like, in the Yakuza. Early years of Yakuza for him. So, I don't know. But, I do know that I would prefer if they did Dead Souls. But I think they'll do Kenzin, like, Ghost Sling, or whatever it's called. called something. I can't think of it. I think it's Kenzin. Kenzin feels right. Fuck you. shit. Up, oh, I can't pick any of those up. I was gonna use those as a weapon. That's the whole reason I go to use Stamina XX. Looks like I'm gonna have to go through the front. Alright, let me see. What is that Yakuza game I'm thinking of? 
It is. So you got Rigu. Riga Gotuku? Kenzen. It is Kenzen. That's what I've been saying, I think. Yeah, it's Kenzen. I wasn't ready. Do I stop my gun? They took my gun away. Fucking pieces of shit, dude. Let go of me. Let go of me, goddammit. Motherfuckers are annoying. I haven't used weapons or gear this entire game. I can do anything because I keep getting grappled to dumb motherfuckers. Seriously? And I knew this stupid shit was gonna happen. God damn it, dude. It's fucking stop. Me off. I can't fucking do anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That fucking guy's dead. Jesus Christ. Seriously, dude, let me get a fucking hit off. Fuck. So fucking annoying. Oh my god. This game has too many enemies that are like this. That just don't get stunned by your hits. And can just break your fucking combos like it's nothing, dude. I can't break his combos, but he can break mine. You know what I mean? Like, that's fucked. Oh, seriously, dude? Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. Like I said, I'm just gonna double upload, so uh, next episode, just we're gonna just continue it literally from this point, so just look out for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there, and peace out, guys.